the impact of Russia's interference in the Syrian conflict on NATO's regional strategy. The Syrian conflict has been raging on for over a decade now and has caused a great deal of chaos in the region. The conflict began as a popular uprising that was met with brutal force from the Syrian regime, leading to a full-blown civil war. Or, as the conflict escalated, many players were drawn into the fray, including the United States and Russia. While the United States was primarily focused on defeating ISIS and other Islamic extremist groups, Russia's interests lay in preserving its influence in the region. This led to Russia's overt military involvement in the Syrian conflict, which began in September 2015. Russia's intervention in the Syrian conflict has had a significant impact on the regional balance of power and on NATO's overall strategy in the region. In this article, we will examine the ways in which Russia's interference has affected NATO's regional strategy. One of the most significant impacts of Russia's interference in the Syrian conflict has been the strengthening of the Assad regime. Russia's military support has allowed the Syrian regime to regain control over much of the country. This has been a serious blow to NATO's efforts to undermine the Assad regime and to support the opposition forces. Russia has also used the Syrian conflict as a testing ground for its military hardware. In particular, Russia has showcased its advanced weapon systems, such as the S-400 air defense system, which has helped to further increase Russia's military prowess in the region. This has sent a clear signal to NATO that Russia is a force to be reckoned with in the region. Furthermore, Russia's intervention in Syria has allowed it to establish a military foothold in the region. Russia now operates a naval base in Tartus on Syria's Mediterranean coast, which provides Russia with a critical strategic location in the eastern Mediterranean. This has allowed Russia to project its military power further afield and has given it greater control over the region. However, while Russia's intervention in the Syrian conflict has been beneficial to itself, it has also created new challenges for NATO. One of the most significant challenges is the fact that Russia has entered into direct military conflict with NATO member Turkey. This has created a dangerous situation in which NATO and Russia are on opposing sides in the Syrian conflict. In addition, Russia's presence in Syria has created a complex situation in terms of the number of different players in the conflict. This has made it difficult for NATO to develop a clear and coherent strategy for dealing with the conflict. Furthermore, Russia's involvement has given rise to a number of other regional actors, such as Iran and Hezbollah, who pose additional challenges to NATO's strategic aims. Despite these challenges, NATO has continued to play an active role in the Syrian conflict. NATO member states have provided military and logistical support to the opposition forces and have continued to apply diplomatic pressure on the Assad regime. However, these efforts have been undermined by Russia's military support for the Assad regime. In conclusion, Russia's interference in the Syrian conflict has had a significant impact on NATO's regional strategy. Russia's military intervention has strengthened the Assad regime and has allowed Russia to establish a military foothold in the region. This has created new challenges for NATO including direct military conflict between Russia and a NATO member state and a complex and crowded conflict zone. While NATO has continued to play an active role in the conflict, it is clear that Russia has fundamentally altered the regional balance of power and that NATO will need to reevaluate its strategic aims in the region in order to effectively address these new challenges.